Rob has brought his lunch. What have you brought? I had uh, I've had it. Have you had it? Have I've you? had it. I had it already. Uh, it was like a beef salad, peppers beef. Oh, why? Bit of rocket salad. <laughs> uh, cut a cut a bit of cucumber <laughs> into it. Uh, bit of celery stick. Bit of tomato. And that was it. Good and then they had the yogurt. Cut on you. Um, don't get me started. I mean, now we're doing these film things. I'm a bag of nerves every morning. I could. Uh, you know, I could do with losing about three stone off the back, just simply off the back of this well, YouTube. But I've had no, I've, I've got body image issues and everything off the back yeah, of all this. I'm like that, and I'm I'm dead paranoid about my clubber now as well. I feel like I need a new wardrobe. Well, this uh, this uh, this 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 jumper, which I'm a big fan of, this Nigel Hall jumper. I recently bought some more, bought some more stuff from this same fella, and uh, I got extra large, and this is extra large, and the new, the new stuff I bought didn't fit me. So this is obviously grown with me, <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, hugely concerning. Uh, but anyway, all right, then this is our little lunchtime chat. You know what Gareth said? I haven't had anything yet. Just to keep you informed, but you know, body image issues and that. Um, um, Simon Mignolet loves to get hugged by Jurgen Klopp. Yeah, and he said, he said, well, but, but we've seen it, haven't we? Klopp hugs everyone, uh, which I'm is nice. It. Yeah, yeah and I'm into it as well. And you know, he says it makes you feel special and all the rest of it. I've got a little fact about hugs. Go on. Um, I read once, and I always tell my son this to, to get a to get a hug off him. Basically, it's the only way I'm getting one. Uh, that if you have hugs, if you hug people every day, you live longer. Is that true? Yeah, because they reckon it, you know, it releases nice things inside your body. It makes you feel good. And serotonin and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, sort of stuff. I've, got so. a, I've got a serotonin fact. It's a good one. Come on. The reason why lambs leap um, when they when they run is because they're so fu- fueled with serotonin, they just almost go pop, and they've got to do something with it. So they just sort of trundle along and they go yes, and then trundle along again and go yes. Uh, that's how happy lambs are, and then they become sheep who are fundamentally a bit miserable. Lamb facts. Uh, lamb facts. Lamb facts. Um, other things. Um, yes, well, hopes to impress Jurgen Klopp. Yeah, he said uh, when he heard he got the job, he said, oh, cool. Um, he likes young players. I think he's only scored about one, though, while he's been away from the club, hasn't he? That's that's not going to impress him. He's got no legs, I think, is another issue. Yeah, he's got no legs. That's <laughs> he's got no legs. And he was just a uh, torso playing butty. And, uh, yeah, and he's still, <laughs> he, I think he's still, his, his postal formal address is still Christopher Samba's pocket in Angie. Yeah. After that happened to him, I think he starts. Yeah. He gets all of his mail delivered to Christopher, Christopher Sanders' pocket. But you know, I'm right behind everyone getting a fresh start. Um, Pato, what's your Pato thing? Is this is this anything? Because it's a lot of nonsense, mm-hmm. and I can't work out if it's anything or not. I'm, I'm I can't be bothered looking into it simply because <laughs> I, I'm just I, a long time ago with the sides with gossip. I, I'm not a gutman, you know what I mean. Gutman loves it, doesn't he? I'm just like unless one of the lads who we know is basically you know you can a lad you can trust is reporting it. Yeah. I'm not bothered because I don't think there's anything in it until it gets to that stage. And that they know they hear all the same rumours we do, and they make a decision before they write whether there's anything. You know what I mean? They'll ask a few people. Okay. And so none of them are saying it. So. I'm leaving it. Lads who Robbo trusts. Yeah. It's, a, it's a short list, but it's a special it list. Is a to be short on. List. Get it is everyone, everyone, everyone <laughs> on it gets a hug. Uh, all right, other thing that we noticed as well that came out is that uh, four players have been released by Liverpool ladies. Becky Easton, who you're a big fan of. Yeah, yeah. Becky was good, yeah. Uh, just just like an older head, but you know, when you went to lash a foul in and speed things up and slow things down, and you know, not to be underestimated, that kind of thing. Uh, Catherine almost dot here. Uh, Ingrid L- Ryland and Lion Smalls, God, that's all come on today as well. But the big one is um, Libby Stout's going to Boston, which is going to be. Yeah. We've seen a bit of ladies this year, and she's she's really impressed, hasn't she? To be honest, she was good. Yeah, I, I mean, we did a live show with her in uh, in Witness, and uh, you know, she came down to that, and I had to throw in the awkward question about. Uh, I've got this thing about uh, girls not being very good goalkeepers, and you you know you proved me completely wrong because she was genuinely a really well is a really good goalkeeper. So it's a massive blow to Liverpool ladies that um, it's he's, she's linking up with Matt Beard, yeah. isn't she? Who's left at Boston Breakers, I think they're called. Um, so he swooped straight in and and took her away, and yeah, be hard to replace her. Uh, all I want, very quick, um, just to just to touch on is Coutinho. Obviously, I mean it, this is going to develop as the week wears on. Very much one for. Just uh, he, he can he can he can uh, watch the game on Thursday from a bath as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Getting fit for the game against Swansea and, and and that should be the case for anyone who's any doubts. I'd say. Well, even then, I think I think they've already pretty much said that he's he's not going to play Thursday, and that he should be okay. Well, do, you for think, Sunday. do you think there's an argument, right? I think there's any risk, don't take the well, risk. Well, do you think there's an argument to go right? You've got you've got the Sunday game coming up. We should be able to cope. You mm. think with the lads who are knocking around, then then it's Southampton in the cup. It might be worth going. Just leave Southampton in the cup. Get you know, just go all the way through to Newcastle away, maybe, and just say, listen, we're just we're just taking care of him until Newcastle away. Not least because he's played so much football. You know, the yeah. ten days off might be no bad thing. Yeah, and we saw at City how important he is to 
to Liverpool and, and Liverpool at the best at the moment. You know, and he's scoring a few goals as well. I just wouldn't take the risk. I'm, I'm like you, you know, I, I'd, I'd just say, have, have the time off, get yourself totally right and we'll try and win those games without you and then come back and have a long run again. And try, you know, a long run into Christmas yeah. when it all intensifies. All right then. Uh, this has been us this week. If you take anything from it, it's that you should be doling out more hugs. Uh, thank you very much to Gareth, obviously. Um, and uh, the, today, oh, coming out today on Tour Player, a Tuesday review, which we haven't done yet. Normally we do it by now. We haven't done it yet. Recording that tonight at five o'clock. Uh, looking forward to it. So I've just written the agenda. Looks great. Um, and we've got a new show called Ban This Filth, uh, which is coming out today, which we have a good listen for on Tour Player. And if you haven't listened to the free show yet, then please do so. It's the Anfield Wrap. All the goodness you need.